Hi guys, Steve here. So I've got a really cool Dark Crystal review. Um, I've got the first wave of the uh, Dark Crystal Age of Resistance figures and I managed to pick this beauty up. It's, um, it's quite old actually now. A Gen um, 12 inch figure. I don't think it's side, oh no it is side show actually. I thought it was Hot Toys possibly. Um, so I'm gonna be opening that up and I'm going to be opening all of these as well. I've got Augra. Spitter, Silk Spitter, even. Deet. The Hunter Skeksky. And the main character, Rianne the Gelfling. Oh, Gelfling! So I'm going to open all of those up and then we'll crack on, have a play, and have a bit of a review. Cool, so I've got them all out of the packaging. Unfortunately, I'm glad I didn't do it on camera because you would have heard me effing and blinding. Um, Jen's leg actually snapped. So I was very careful with it because I've opened thousands of figures. Um, and it snapped, I think maybe just because it's a bit old. The stand's not great either. It is a good, well-made figure. I think the, um, the strengths are actually in the clothes because it's all uh, hand embroidered and it is good. Um, but it's just a bit annoying. I'll just put him in the centre there. Um, the hair's good and everything. Um, I'm just, I just, I'm just very annoyed about that leg because it just snapped right off. What well, I'm going to try and fix it somehow underneath. So I'll have to get some maybe some strong glue or something just to so he's standing a bit awkwardly. Um, so clothes, really good detail. I mean, he is quite old. It's just a bit annoying because it, um, it's just a, it's a hard to get figure and it snapped. Um, so I'll just push him forward a little bit there. Um, the face, I, I can I can definitely see it's Jen, but I think it could have been a little bit better. But then again, I do think the clothes are amazing. The fact you get the shard as well, that's really good. Just a bit annoyed that the stand snapped a little bit and the leg just came completely off. So not, not the greatest, but... Um, He'll still be good on my dark crystal shelf. Um, I will, I'll, I'll do some amendments and I'll get him back. Right, so, uh, first wave of figures. I'm hoping there's a second wave because there's a few figures, well, a few characters, sorry, missing. Um, I'll talk about that in a bit. First one is the uh, Silk Spitter. So, um, I'll just give you a bit of extra, just have a little look there. Um, Silk Spitter. I thought this was a bit of a strange choice. Um, this isn't really a spoiler or anything because he's not. It's not in it loads. Um, the articulation is good though. There's uh, the pincer bit. You can actually move the pincers. Actually swivel. Um, is there any? Oh no, there's back artic articulation on the legs as well and the middle legs too. Detail is really good. Um, the paint is really good too. Um, I like the detail on the back. The actual. Um, what's that called? What's a beetle's back called? Is there a word for the back of the beetle? I don't know. Um, so it's not it's not my favourite figure, that's why I'm picking that one first. It's probably my least favourite out of the wave, just because I think it's a bit... It, it, I think it could have been in like a two-pack, like they did with the Gotham and Kira, which is really expensive. But um, it's a bit, mm, you know. Augra, next. So her, her detailing is really good, like crazy good. She's got the um, the symbol on the back that Breya was interested in and wanted to find. Oh, didn't notice that. Can you see her little feet? It kind of reminds me of those toys where you could like make little indentations with Play-Doh or something. I probably wouldn't do that though. Um, articulation is not, she hasn't got a lot. Oh, she does have elbow articulation and a bit of head articulation as well. Elbow and arm. But then, you know, she's kind of a short, dumpy type woman, isn't she? Well, alien woman with one eye. The, um, the facial sculpt is really good. The paint too. That is a very good figure. Um, no accessories. I thought there'd be something. Oh no, wait a second. I think I've lost her cane. Oh, right. So I'm going to have to go on the hunt for that. There is a cane in there. I'm glad I noticed that because I would have thrown that away. Actually, I think I might have thrown it away. I'm going to be putting my hands in the garbage. 
Um, Rianne, next. First of the gulflings. So he has head articulation, head articulation, elbow, knee articulation as well. He comes with a little sword, which is good. That's very, that's quite detailed. I'm a bit scared I'll break that though. I'm not going to put that in now. I'm a bit scared of that. Very tiny little vial of essence. Sorry, you have to do a Skeksky um, impression whenever you use a Skeksy voice. You just, I think you just have to. Really good detailing on the eyes. I don't know if you can see that. That's really good. I do wish there were more Gelflings in the line though. I'll just pop him down. Next is Deet, who is, is she a Gelfling from Groton? Is she from Groton? Is she a Groton Gelfling? Someone quote me on that, I, I can't quite remember. I've only watched the series once, I'm watching it again at the moment. Um, she does have some wings. So if I just pop those in. Nope. Her hair gets in the way though. If we got a wing in. Yes, one wing, I'll get the other one in. I'll probably just keep the wings in, to be fair, because um, I wouldn't advise taking these in and out and it's kind of, it messes with her hair. Oops, it messes with her hair a little bit. The hair actually gets in the way. Same articulation as Rianne. So that's really good. The hair is actually a bit in the way and it kind of bends back. I might have to have a play with that because I kind of want the hair not bent back like that because that looks a bit wrong. Oh, and the wing's just falling out. I'll have to have, to have a play with that. Right, next one. Amazing sculpt in the face on this one. So the Hunter Skeksky, who isn't in the original 1982 Dark Crystal film. He was one of my favorite Skeksis. I'm glad they did a figure of him. I do want them to do more, because I want, because we, we've got the Chamberlain figure quite a few times, he's been released, but we've, we've only got one or two Skeksis and I, I need more Skeksis. So he's got four arms as well. I didn't actually know this till later on that Skeksis actually had four arms. They don't tend to use their back ones, but I think because he is a hunter, he has to have all his swords, which you do get. Um, I'll just put one of the little ones in his hand. Uh, that fits better than Rian's little sword, because that literally, I thought that was going to snap. And I've had enough snappage today, thank you. Um, front arms, bit of elbow. Oh, the arm doesn't really, the actual arm doesn't move much, but I think that's because of the, um, the bones on the shoulder. But the elbows do. I'll just pop the swords in. It looks much better with the swords. He comes with a helmet as well. But then I don't know if to put the helmet on. I mean, it is, that is a cool helmet, but then I just think you're losing such a good face sculpt because you've got all the wrinkles and the, all the definition there. That's, that's probably the best facial sculpt out of all of them, really. But that's how he looks with the skull on. That does look cool, but I just think you're just missing out on that good facial sculpt. Um, no knee articulation. His legs do move a little bit, but I want more Skeksis. Right. My last one, so I'm having, I'm having Hup. I'm having Hup last because he is my favourite character in the whole series. Um, I loved Podlings anyway. I think I like him a lot more because he's a, he stands up for Deet. He stands up for Deet a lot and he calls his little spoons swords. I'm just going to put one of his spoons in his hand. There you go. But he's just so adorable. Probably scale-wise, he's probably, yeah, he's way too big. Depth for a podling, he is way too big. But then I think he would have missed out on, because look, he's got elbow articulation, knee articulation as well. You'd have missed out on all the articulation if they'd made him any smaller. So scale-wise, off, but I can see why. And his face sculpt's lovely, so cute. Hup's definitely my favourite character. Um, yes, so for first wave, um, I think they're really good. I think the spitter, the spitter could have been um, a different character because we've only got 
two out of the three main Gelflings, and I don't know why we don't have Brea. I'm hoping uh, for a two pack of Brea and the Law Monster, that's the thing they're made out of stones. I think that's the only major, major characters we're missing because we definitely, definitely need Brea. I don't know if you know, you've got two out of the three main Gelflings, Gel 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 um, so you definitely need the third one. Uh, definitely want the rest of the Skeksis. Oh, and how can I miss the Archer um, Mystic? We don't have the Archer Mystic. Maybe you could have a real um, bow and arrow, well, not a real bow and arrow, but like real bow and arrow, bow and arrow, bow and arrow action or something like that. Um, but yes, I'm hoping they do a second wave. I'm hoping we get a second series as well. well there's been lots of buzz, so I think we will. So I'm hoping for a second series um, of Age of Resistance and then hopefully we'll get more figures and stuff. But Thank you for watching. I'm going to fix my Jen because of his arm and then um, probably put these on the shelf with my other um, Dark Crystal figures. But like, comment, subscribe, um, leave some comments about Age of Resistance, who your favourite character is, and if you love Hup as much as I do. And um, I'll see you guys later.